without further ado, please let me introduce uh, Mr. Esteban Tan uh, and Diasan from Beards Papa in Petri Corners. Hello. Hello. How are you, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us. We're really looking forward to kind of learning how you make your uh, famous uh, cream puffs. Um, and I'm actually also here today with the festival manager of Japan Fest, Ms. Kazuko Liddy. Hello, Kazuko-san. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, without further ado, let, let's jump right into our program. Um, but uh, Esteban and Diasan, um, if uh, we can kind of ask you a few questions about you and um, the store. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Esteban, uh, and then how you started Beards Papa uh, here in Atlanta. Yeah, um, so uh, I, am, I was born in Argentina, in South America, pretty unusual, um, uh, to Taiwanese parents. And uh, we moved here to Atlanta in 2003. And, um, you know, I always had, a, had the dream of, of being an entrepreneur, a business owner. So um, when, the, when we saw this um, opportunity come up, you know, I thought that it was a great idea to, to try and introduce something new that we didn't have here in Atlanta or more specifically in the Southeast. So, you know, after a lot of hard work and... Uh, and dedication for, for quite a while, um, got together with two partners and uh, we were able to, to get it done and, um, and had this, uh, the world's famous cream house, you know, here in, in our own backyard pretty much. Great. Well, we're so excited that you're here and I understand uh, you just celebrated a one year anniversary. So happy anniversary and happy birthday to Baird Papa. Thank you, uh, Three Corners. Uh, and now, uh, Rie-san. Uh, so, Rie-san, uh, so we'll do your uh, interview part in Japanese, but Rie-san uh, あの、ま、え、自己紹介して、え、ま、どうやってあの、ま、ピース3コーナーのビアートパパに、え、ま、お仕事スタートしたか。ちょっとあの、お話ししてください。はい。私は2018年にアメリカトランタに住所しました。で
they, they have expanded now to about 400 stores worldwide in 15 different countries. Wow, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, Lisa, back to you. えっと、マリエさんも、えっとまあね、日本人で日本から来たと思いますが、えっとまあ、ビアードパパはどうやってあの、まあ、大阪であの、まあ、小さいベーカリーとして始まってあの、まあ、グローバル的なえお店になったかちょっとあの少しあのご説明できますかビアードパパの魅力の一つである新鮮さは世界中のお客様を魅了していると思います。私たちスタッフが毎朝大きなオーブンでシュー生地を焼いているのですが、お客様のご注文の後に新鮮なカスタードクリームを目の前でお詰めしています。なので、小さいお客様から大人の方まで目の前で作られるシュークリームを楽しんでくださっています。私自身もビアドパパの大ファンなので、これからも世界中の方にシュークリームを広めていきたいなと思います。<笑>ありがとうございます。Alright, Esteban, back to you. Yes. So, can you、um, describe to us、um, some of the things you have on your menu?、Uh, I know it's not just、uh, the, the regular,、uh, well, it's not regular, but you know,、um, uh, your traditional、uh, cream puffs, but you have so many different kinds of flavors and、uh, all sorts of、uh, menu items, and including drinks too, right? So,、uh, can you talk about what you have on your、uh, menu items? Yeah. So,、uh, we are actually pretty proud to. Uh, to be offering one of the uh, largest uh, menus in, in all of the US stores.、Uh, I think we currently have every single item that Beer Papa offers、uh, on, on their menu, usually. So I know a lot of,、uh, a lot of different stores in other states,、uh, they usually have about probably、uh, seven to eight items on their menu, and then、uh, they probably offer two to three、uh, fillings. At a time,、uh, but we, we have,、uh, including our desserts, the creme brulee, the cheesecake, and the chocolate condensed,、uh, we have a total of 13 items in our menu. And,、uh, and we have、uh, four different fillings that、uh, we try to offer、um, at all times with a, with a monthly flavor that is, that, that is going to be、uh, rotated, rotating every month. That's great. And what are some of your most popular menu items? And what's your favorite, too?、Um, uh, the crispy almond is one of the most popular ones.、Um, the honey butter shell and the chocolate shell is very,、uh, the chocolate shell with vanilla filling, that is a very popular one as, as well.、Um, Creme brulee, also very popular. And,、um, oh, and we do have our,、uh, our, Unique, very unique、uh, custard cream drinks that、uh, we use、uh, the custard cream that we pump into the, into the cream puffs to make、um, uh, a drink that tastes very similar to a frappuccino. If you haven't tried it,、um, it's, it's definitely worth trying it. Great, thank you. あそれではリエさん、えっとまあ、日本のビアドパパとアメリカのビアドパパはちょっとあのメニューがちょっと違うと思いますが。うんえーまあ、今あの、ピーストリーコーナーズのお店であの、まあ、販売しているもののちょっとご説明できます、はいえっと、私たちの店舗はアメリカ企業の中でも種類の豊富なメニューを取り揃えています。シュー生地は全部で9種類で、えー、カスタードクリームは全4種類あります、えーと。シュークリーム以外のデザートだとチーズケーキとチョコレートフォンダンがあります。で一番うちのお店で人気な商品はオリジナルのシュー生地に中がバニラカスタードクリームとあとはチョコレートエクレアの生地に中がバニラカスタードクリームが一番人気です。はい。あ、ありがとうございます。All right, Esteban,、uh, back to you.、Um... Uh, so, one of our、um, questions that we have from the audience.、Uh, so, what's the future of Beard Papas?、Uh, you have new flavors coming in, new menu items. Are you going to have a food truck? Can you、uh, talk about maybe、uh, some of the, the things that, you,、uh, that we can look forward to in the future? Yeah, so、um, we're going we're gonna to take food truck out of the question. That's, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> But uh, uh, flavors, yes,、uh, we are constantly you know, in contact. With, with our corporate office、uh, to, to know 
to try to find out uh, every uh, new uh, shell or new feeling that they are testing and trying out. So um, we, we are going to be introducing uh, quite a few new items uh, starting, starting next week, actually, June 1st. Uh, we're going to have a uh, mango filling, and then uh, we're going to have uh, a new uh, shell that we can try for the eclairs that is going to be um, similar to the cookies and cream, but we are, here Papas is partnering up with uh, Nila wafers, uh, the cookies. So it's going to be a work on, it's going to be a, a shell that has, that contains the Nila wafers on, on the top. So it should taste, um, it should taste pretty good. Yeah, and uh, and we're gonna have um, again. We're gonna have new flavors uh, every every month coming up. Wow, that that sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry already, and it's not even lunchtime yet. So, ah, eto ma Ria san, ano imasaki Esteban san wa eto ma food truck wa yara nai to itte mas kero ano ma shourai VR Papa wa doi mono ano hanbai suru koto ni narimasu ka. ありがとうございます。final question. Um, so um, so where, where can we find you? Um, can you tell us uh, how we can get in touch with you? Maybe your website, phone number, um, your location, and then do you have any special offers for, for our viewers today? Yes, so uh, we are located uh, in Peachtree Corners. Um, I don't know if everybody's familiar with uh, the Forum Mall. Uh, we are right across the street from it. Um, and we are located inside the, the new town center that they built uh, here in, in North Peachtree Corners, it used to be uh, North Cross. Uh, it's on, on Peachtree Parkway. Um, we have a beautiful uh, town green here that um, if we didn't have this whole uh, COVID-19 situation uh, over the weekend, they will have like uh, free concerts and stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely a great place to come hang out with the family and enjoy um, dinners around uh, the many restaurants that we have us neighbors and then a good dessert with us great thank you and then um for for the people who may not be um uh you know still dining in um do you, do you have uh kind of pickup or curbside pickup options also delivery as well yes, yes at the moment currently we have uh we are doing takeout you guys are uh, more than welcome to come into the store and uh and place an order uh we'll We'll show you guys our, our little setup to keep our employees and, and customers safe uh, in a little bit. Um, but we are um, practicing social distancing uh, and everybody, all of our employees will be wearing masks and, uh, and gloves to handle um, the pro our products and our doors and everything. They're going to be wiped down and disinfected um, uh, constantly throughout the day. And uh, yeah, uh, as I mentioned, we do... Um, offer a curbside pickup in which uh, you can just call us, uh, place an order, we will take uh, a payment over the phone, and then we will bring it out to your car. So you don't even have to come out of the car or anything like that. Um, we do offer delivery through our partners. Uh, we are on Postmates, uh, DoorDash, and GrabHub. And we do offer catering uh, through our partner, Easy Cater. Great, thank you very much. えっと、あとはカーブサイドピックアップもありますのでお客様がはい。どうもありがとうございます。
Well, um, well, Esteban and Diasan, um, without further ado, we do have a, a couple questions from the audience. But um, before uh, we get into the Q and A session, um, perhaps you can give us a, a a tour of your store and then maybe a, a quick demo on how to make the famous cream puffs. Yeah, sure. Uh, we'll start here on the outside. Let's see. So here is the front of our store. Uh, let me see. Let's pull it. This one. So beer pop bus. Uh, we are currently in the parking lot, but um, to our right, uh, we see our town, town green um, that it gets filled with people and activities usually. <laughs> and uh, so let's go in. Come on, let's come on into the store. So when you guys come in, uh, we have a setup. So the dining area is currently closed, but we are doing uh, takeout only. Uh, we have mark on the floor uh, for our customers who uh, keep a safe distance. And we actually set up a ordering table right here. So customers will come up to this point and our employees will be standing um, by the POS, which is a good, you know, um, at least six feet apart uh, to keep customers and employees uh, safe. So um, customers will pick from, will order from here, and we have a paying paying device that it can be uh, touchless. And we are trying not to take cash uh, at this moment, just to just for safety reasons. And we have our menu, and we're gonna have everything, most of our products in display here on on our display case. And okay, so so it will be uh, employees only beyond this point. So once once we prepare the order, um, one of our employees will bring it out here, and then we will leave it here at the table, and then customers can safely pick it up and um, and be on their way. So so usually, of course, um, with if no coronavirus situation. Um, all these tables, we will have the chairs and everything, and uh, people can sit and, and hang out and have a good time. And then people are welcome to come here, which is our pumping station. Um, here, they will be able to see us uh, freshly pumping the custard cream inside the inside the cream puffs. Yeah, we're getting ready to open uh, today. Here in a few hours, these are just uh, the fresh cream puffs that they just came out of the oven, and they are cooling down right now. So I think um, we can do, uh, Leah will do a quick demonstration uh, now about how we pump uh, the original vanilla. Yeah. I'm gonna actually stand on the outside. And Esteban, this is all state of the art equipment, brand new and um, specifically. Yeah, everything, everything is in right? Japan. Yeah, yeah, the, even even the pumps, everything that we use, even the yellow trays here, they, they are imported from Japan. Wow, so you make the cream puffs here, but all the equipment are, are from Japan. That, that's that's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't get to choose, you know, what 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 kind of pump to use or or which one is cheaper or not like beer papas they are very they're very strict with um quality control and we have to use um what is what is recommended by them yeah and they, they do our corporate office they do come uh on a quarterly basis to to do an inspection usually to see to make sure that everybody's following following protocol so I guess whether you have a cream puff in Petri Corners in Georgia, or uh, if you have uh, cream puffs in Kyobashi Station in, in Osaka, Japan, um, it's all gonna taste pretty much the same, right? Yes, yeah, I would like to think so. Yeah, that everybody is, is following protocol. So um, here we have uh, our ovens. Again, um, ovens that are um, required by corporate office. Uh, and then uh, here we're actually, 
uh, baking the mini cream puffs now. Um, so minis, they are great for uh, for meetings, you know, um, to take to work, uh, and then they are just bite size, and then um, something a little bit different than than our regular ones that some people, you know, they, they tend to be a little bit on the on the bigger side. And here we are baking our famous uh, crispy almonds. How long do you usually have to bake, um, uh, put them in the oven to, to finish baking? Um, crispy almonds, they bake for about 30 minutes. And then the minis, they also do, do bake for about 30 minutes. And then we, uh, we need about, once they come out of the oven, we need about 10 minutes for them to, to cool down a little bit because uh, we cannot pump the, the fresh custard cream um, while, while the product is still hot because it's going gonna, it's gonna to break the, the cream and it's going to melt. Yeah, that's fine. But we can do it here. Yeah. So, so um, we're gonna we're gonna grab some um, some of our chocolates and show you guys how how we hand dip our our eclairs. So we're gonna go with a with a chocolate one and a and a green tea one. So I guess as customers. Uh, you no know, order their cream puffs. Um, mm -hmm. you, you get your um, you know, finished um, kind of the, the shells, and then all of your kind of cream fillings are, I guess, done um, on site. Um, I guess uh, on site, yes, on time through at, with each order, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna dip um, hand dip. We all, all the eclairs we just can dip them in, in, our, in our chocolate um, mixtures. So on the right side here, we have the chocolate one. And then on the left side, we have the, the green tea, which is a white chocolate base. Wow, that looks so delicious. <laughs> yep and then once once we dip them uh, we put them in the fridge for the chocolate to settle and then they're ready to go they're ready to be filled with whatever um custard cream uh, the customer wants can i give you guys one last Quick thing uh, today, we are actually doing custard today as well. So just so you guys can have a quick look, um, this is uh, egg yolks and uh, the mixture with flour and everything uh, with vanilla bean. I don't know if you guys are able to see, but if uh, if anybody comes in and they order the uh, the original vanilla filling, um, take a look at the at the at the filling. You can actually see. Um, little black dots like specks that is actually fresh vanilla bean uh, we don't use vanilla extra on our product so we just we get the the actual beans and then we have to scrape it one by one uh and all, we put all the vanilla pods inside and that's that's how our famous uh, vanilla custard cream comes out yeah and then this is the custom machine that we use uh, to to make the whole process Wow, that's that's so amazing to see uh, to see everything from the back end and um, how not only the shells are made but the actual cream. Um, yeah. So to all of our viewers, this this is a really special opportunity, and um, uh, so I don't think you can uh, uh, kind of see how things are made like this uh, normally. So thank you so much for sharing. No, no problem, guys. So, so Esteban, um, uh, we do have a couple questions from the audience, actually. Um, uh, and uh, the first one is, I guess, do you have any lactose-free uh, options? Um, lactose-free, um, 
unfortunately, no. Um, yeah, I think you know everything. Almost all of our products they either they either use uh, milk, butter, or heavy cream. Yep. Yeah. Sorry uh, about. I know it's hard milk. to make cream without lactose and without cream and milk, right? So. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, another question is, um, do you have uh, any gift cards for sale? We do. We actually, we just got the gift cards uh, in. So we do have physical gift cards. Uh, we just... uh, yeah, we got physical gift cards that we received uh, this week. So we are getting ready to, uh, to start selling that over, over the weekend. And then we will make an announcement soon. Uh, that they are available. Uh, so we got physical ones, and then we're gonna have digital ones as well that we can just uh, send send to your to your email or or via text to your phone, and then uh, we can just uh, it will be a lot easier for customers to to give out as a gift to friends and family. Um, yeah. Yeah. So to to our viewers, uh, most definitely. Um, think about getting a gift cards for, for birthdays or for just gifts to, to the family members, friends. Um, and I think it's a, a great alternative to, to ice cream. I think beers, papas, the, the cream puffs is even better. So uh, I'll definitely be uh, partaking in getting a gift card. Um, we have uh, some birthdays coming up. So I think there'll be a, a nice gift. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we appreciate everybody's support, especially during this, these trying times that, you know, it's a first for for everyone. I think uh, nobody nobody has been in this situation, so we are all trying to work it out as we go and, and trying to make it make it happen. Yeah, most definitely, we're all in this together. So let let's uh, continue to support all of our Japanese restaurants, including Bears Papa, uh, and then Kazuko San. You have a, a question for Ria San. Uh, you're you're on mute, so go ahead. Um, Ria San. Not 今ちょっと聞くところによると日本にはない味がここでは味わえるっていうことですね。はい。あ、じゃあぜひアメアトランタに来た際は皆さんトライした方がいいですねこれを。ありがとうございます。Well, uh, Esteban and uh, Ria-san, um, before uh, we let you go, I know you are busy and you have to open up your store for your customers very soon. Uh, but uh, I guess one more time, if you can let our viewers know uh, how we uh, can learn more about Beards Papa, um, I will share our screen with your website on it, but um, kind of let us know um, how we can get in touch with you, how, how we can enjoy your cream puffs. Uh, so Esteban in English and Ria san, Nihongo de Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yeah, so let me show you guys uh, one quick thing. So if you guys can, um, oh. so if you guys can follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Beer Papa's PC, that will be our best. Uh, we we are there very regularly posting uh, promotions, updates uh, to our services, uh, especially during this uh, coronavirus times, and then our updated. Um, uh, store hours, opening hours. Uh, if we if we're gonna change, uh, we're trying to go back soon to to our regular hours, uh, but we're still operating under uh, reduced hours at, at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, all the whenever we have a sale, our famous uh, buy five get one free, or like we had on our anniversary, a uh, buy four get one free. Uh, we we always gonna post it a few days before uh, on our on our websites. On Instagram or and Facebook. Great, thank you very much. And then uh, again, for our viewers, you can go to uh, beardpapas.com, uh, and then certainly there's a couple locations in Atlanta, uh, but the Petri Corners one um, I highly recommend. Uh, so you'll see the website here, the address, phone number, um, and then uh, certainly the, the store hours. I know you guys are on a reduced time schedule, but hopefully we can go back to some form of normalcy soon. But uh, Esteban Ria-san, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being uh, a member of the Japan America Society of Georgia. Thank you for your support of Japan Fest as well. Uh, and we look forward to uh, continuing uh, collaborating together with many more projects and programs 
uh, in the future. So um, look forward to staying in touch. And everyone, uh, let's all uh, go to Beers Papas or order delivery or do some pickup service. Uh, and I think it would be a, a great way to maybe start off the weekend. So, so thank you very much, uh, Esteban and Iasan, and um, good luck today as you open up your store and um, uh, keep uh, making all your customers happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great day, everyone.